Well, it was uh, around 2009 when Ayama was just about to wrap up the uh, two th the last 250 World Championship at Valencia. And we bought an RS250 NXA, which was sort of the customer spec model of the bike, that, the factory bike that Ayama was riding. So we thought, well, the last 250 GP bike ever to win a World Championship, let's do a tribute to that. So we took the bike back to the bare chassis and um, found out where we could buy all the bodywork that the Scott team bought, and that was from Speed Fiber in Barcelona, so it's all it's exactly the same carbon bodywork. We got a, a guy in Italy who'd actually um, done a CNC program to uh, machine the radial fork bottoms for the calipers, because they were standard brake uh, arrangements, so we got those and screwed <laughs> them on, put the big Brembo uh, radial brakes on there. Samba made us some custom pipes, again they made the pipes for I am as original bike and Brad Barr at Silverstone, a really good radiator guy, um, copied the, the kit radiator for us and then we had a, a carbon airbox made. So just tried to get the detail as close as possible. Um, Hiroshi's seen photos of the bike and we're in touch with him a bit. He was quite impressed with the detail um, and we nearly got him riding it at Valencia this year because it's actually the 10 year anniversary since he won his championship. So I, su I suggested to Hiroshi it would be quite neat to do a few parade laps at the last MotoGP round. He was really interested, the circuit directors were, and so were Dana. But the only thing that scuppered it was with the Moto E fire, about when all the bikes burnt out, they pushed the Moto E calendar all the way back. So they weren't going to run at Valencia, but now they are. And they looked at the schedule and said, oh, there's just not, not enough uh, room in the schedule for Hiroshi to do some demo laps. So. We'll get him on it at some point, but uh, that'd be quite nice to see him uh, ride the bike. So, you know, you've invested quite a lot to get this bike looking exactly the same with all the machining, the engineering, of course, and, and having everything made. You mentioned Brad Burrow Rad, you know, he's world class. You know, that, that guy at Silverstone, he really is, and, and makes radiators and MotoGP anyway. But um, so obviously, uh, there's a lot of money invested in, the, in this machine. Do you ride it? Yeah, that's my, one of my regular track day bikes, so uh, yeah, it gets the road. I don't push it to the limit, but because uh, you're always... In fact, actually, I, I was knocked off this one at Paul Ricard in about 2014 by... Uh, you see, it was never my fault either when I crashed. Uh, well, it was a flying French rider on a YZR500, took my front end away and uh, took the end of my finger off as well. Um, so yeah, it has had a bit of action. And... Um, you know, with this, if you obviously, I guess if you get him to ride it, uh, that'll be the final kind of uh, little cherry on the cake. Yeah, it's, it, it'll be nice. I mean, me and my dad have built this collection of bikes and it's really for our own enjoyment and for, for me to ride a bit. We haven't bought, built them specifically to get a lot of p different people on them, but I think with this one, just getting Hiroshi on it and, um, and the... the uh, uh, organizers at Valencia said as well to get another two stroke running again on some uh, at a GP event would be quite nice after all this time. Can we run it, mate, please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you.